Guys, we're in Olathe, Colorado. We've got a Bale King 8100 round bale feeder. This is in immaculate condition. The little man that we're selling it for has gone away from the round bales. He's going to squares, so he's going to go ahead and sell this. Everything on this machine is tip-top shape. We've got the controller, which you'll see in the pictures. The controller runs the hydraulic module on the other side of the machine. I'll show it to you, it's over there, and that's what changes up your hydraulics. But I wanted to give you a quick walk around because this is just a super, super clean bale feeder, not rusted up at all. This guy, to his credit, whenever he wasn't using his stuff, he had it under the shed. So you won't find a used one any cleaner than this one. So starts you out here on the front. I believe, and I'll verify this, but I believe this does take the 5.4. Excuse me, it's got the small 1,000. Takes the small 1,000 RPM shaft up here on the front, guys. Uh, it's got a clevis hitch to hook it up. Got your owner's manual right there. You got some adjustments for it right here. Takes two remotes off of the tractor to run this, plus the electronic switch to divert your hydraulics. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Everything's good and clean on this side, guys. No rust, no breaks, no welds. This is your control for your wing or your cylinder for your wing. That kind of pushes your round bale as you've got it in there. It pushes it over into the beater so that you can process it. We'll walk around to the other side here. This, of course, is going to be the side that discharges the feed. Here is the diverter. And you can see you've got one set of hydraulics coming in, but you've got three coming out. So those three hydraulics are the wing on the left side of the machine. Again, that's what presses that bale over into the processor and the beaters here in the middle. The second control would be the two top vertical, or excuse me, top horizontal beaters here. Uh, the grinders obviously run off of the PTO, but these beaters on top help roll your bale around. If you get a spot where it's sticking in and won't process, you can turn that bale by turning these beaters on. And then your third set runs this discharge chute uh, to raise it up and down so you can control how far out it's putting it on the ground. Look inside here, guys. You can see the beaters are in good condition. There's a little bit of surface rust here in the bottom, but it is not material at all guys this tub is in good shape you see here some of the bearings and again everything's in very good condition on this bale feeder we'll walk around to the back i'm going to say these tires probably have 60 to 70 percent on them still both tires are in very good shape. You can see you've got your forks here on the back that if you watch the other video, they go up and down just like they should. I don't see any of the hydraulic cylinders leaking. He does have two stops right there. Those two stops go on these two cylinders from whenever you put it in storage. And that way they don't seep down on you as you've got it stored. But look inside here, guys. The, the axles are good. The there's no welds or cracks or breaks on any of this. Another good tire here. You can see 16.5L, 16.1SL tires on the back. It's got the lights on the back, so if you've got your seven prong plug, you can have your lights on here. The only thing I see welded on this is this little horseshoe right here. I'm sure they put that on there probably to hold that up is what I'm guessing before they come up with those stops. But I don't think there's one on the other side. Oh, there he is. There's one on this side as well. So they've added those. I'm not sure what they did with those guys, but they did add them. And then we're back over to this side again with this cylinder here. Bale King 8100. Round bale feeder, guys. We're going to put it up for sale if you have any questions give us a call very very clean machine this will give you a better view down inside here
Hasn't even got the paint wore off of this stuff hardly, guys. So again, give us a call if you have any questions. Be glad to answer them for you. And uh, best wishes to you, and thank you for taking the time to look at it. Appreciate it, guys.